we're making a quick tutorial on how you can rip games from your Xbox 360 and put them on the Xenia Xbox 360 emulator for PC. Now, for starters, I'm going to get my camera out on my phone and I'm going to show you how to do this physically as well. I'm going to start recording on my phone. So, what you'll want to do first is you'll want to grab an Xbox 360 game and I've got mine all in a nice combo here. Let's take Sonic 06 for example. Take this game. Okay. Now this does look cluttered, but it's got perfect ventilation, so no worries. Put this here. Right. Close that up. Right. Now the disc is in there. Now what you want to take next is some USB, at least. They recommend 16 gigs, so this is only an 8 gigabyte one, and it's worked perfectly fine for me. Stick. Get it in. Come on. On the USB port. And stick in your USB. I recommend 8 gigs, because 8 gigs has worked perfectly fine for me the whole time. Now let's go back. Now, what we we'll want to do, we want to go Game Details. And once this eventually loads, So you'll see this screen appear, there's an option here that says install, you want to hit install and it'll take a little bit and then after it'll, it'll uh, give you the option to put it on your USB stick. Now you might have to format your USB if you haven't already, so you'll want to hit format if you haven't done and if you've already formatted like me, you just want to hit A and select that uh, particular drive. Now. Depending on the size of the game, a game can take anywhere between a minute or two up to about 15 or so minutes to rip. It depends. If it's a larger game, more like 6 to 8 gigs, it could take about yeah, 10 to 15 minutes. But if it's a smaller game, you might be in luck and it will happen pretty quickly. So I'm just going to speed up this footage here of it uh, ripping the disc because it takes quite a while. So I'll be back with you when it's finished ripping the disc. Once your game is finished being ripped, what you're going to want to do is you want to go after, finish install game. And I've also unplugged my Ethernet cable in the meantime because it was taking forever and I got bored, so I went on YouTube. And what you're going to want to do is, well, I've turned off my Xbox 360 here because I don't need it on anymore. Get your USB and plug it into your PC. And now what you're going to want to do, is you want to go to the following link, Oops. I'll put this down in the description, but you want to get a program called God2 ISO. And so this link will be in the description of the video, and you're going to want to download God2 ISO. Now I've already got it downloaded, go to my downloads, and find God2 ISO. I don't need this anymore. And WinRAR is just being WinRAR. That's not closing for some reason. Right. So now you've got your God to ISO open. If it'll open for me. I said if it would open. There we go. Okay. Then open for the first time. Um, what you're going to want to do is select the USB drive. Go content, one really long zeros, and then work out which one your game is. So I think this, yeah, so this will be your game. So it'll have a folder like this, dot that, and then your your game here. So you want to select this, click open, browse, and wherever you want to extract them to. So I'm going to extract mine to my Xbox 360 game. So we'll go here, make a new folder, and want to go. Sonic 06 because that's what this game is that I've ripped. Hit that OK and click go. Now depending on your size of your game as well, 
this can take, you know, a bit of time and also depending on your hardware I think can also impact how long this takes. So for me this shouldn't take too long, might take about a minute, a minute or two. So I'll fast forward this section as well. Now, once this is completed, what you're going to want to do, you want to close God Tire so you don't need it anymore, and you're going to want to go to your Xenia, I have mine located here, and I'm going to open Xenia.exe. Open, and I'm going to locate where I installed it, so Sonic 06, and this particular ISO here. And now this game does appear to be lagging, but that could also be because I'm recording. Plus I have a 970, and 970s aren't that great with uh, the emulator at the moment. And so, <clears throat> no save game data exists. Now, I'll make a tutorial soon on how to move your game data from your 360 to the emulator. It's very easy, but yeah. So anyway, we're going to start a new game. I actually don't even have my controller plugged in, and I'm using the keyboard controller, which is terrible. Because I don't need that now. And I'll show you that the game does work. I think I'm recording in 30 frames, so the game is going to look smooth, even though the game does run at 60 frames, as you can see up there. Let's go. Right, so we've got no progress. I'm going to start a song. Now, this cutscene does appear to be lagging, and a lot of games you want to skip cutscenes at the moment because they may crash or lag, or. Cutscenes just don't work properly with the emulator at the moment. And yeah, so this is running in Xenia. That's how easy it is to rip a game. I need to gather some information. That is really how easy it is to rip a game. And this game appears to run fine. I actually haven't tested it yet. I am having some lag, but Oh, yeah. This game runs absolutely fine. I haven't seen any graphical glitches so far, actually. Which is good. So, uh, oh, I would say there's uh, graphical glitches, but uh, shadows have always been a thing that are having issues at the moment on the emulator. But anyway, I would like to thank everyone for watching, so uh, I hope I helped you out with ripping your games to your Xbox uh, from your Xbox 360. And I would really like if you could leave a like comment and possibly subscribe and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye! Yeah.